Hello everyone! Today we're going to be talking about finding sums of finite arithmetic and geometric series. In this first one, we're going to focus on arithmetic series. And so the sum of the first n terms of an arithmetic series is denoted by Sn. And we can find this with this formula that Sn is equal to n times a1 plus an over 2 where Sn is the mean of the first and nth terms multiplied by the number of terms. So let's go ahead and practice this. And so this first one, I have the sum i equals 1 to 20 of 3i plus 7. And so the rule again here is that Sn is equal to n times a1 plus an over 2. And so I first need to figure out what my first term is and what my nth term is. And n is always just going to be where our sum is going. So here my sum is going to 20. And so that means that n is equal to 20. So first I want to find my first term. So I have a1 is equal to. And what's in the sum is my rule. So I want to replace i with 1. So I have 3 times 1 plus 7, which gets me 10. And then I'll find my nth term, which my nth term is a20. So I have a20 is equal to, and I'm going to replace i now with 20. So I have 3 times 20 plus 7, and I get 67. So now that I have both of those terms, I can go ahead and plug this into my sum. And so my sum is going to be S20, since I have 20 terms, is equal to 20 times A1 plus A20 over 2. So all I did here was replace all the ends in my formula with 20. And now I'm going to replace A1 and A20 with what those terms actually are. We found that A1 is 10 and A20 is 67. Two. And then now I'm going to simplify this out. So 10 plus 67, I get 77 over 2. And when you multiply that out, you get that this is equal to 770. Okay, let's look at one more. So here I have the sum of n equals 1 to 10 of 9n. And so here, my sum goes to 10, so that means that there are 10 terms. So I need to find what a1 is equal to and what a10 is equal to. Well, plugging 1 into my rule here, which is 9n, I have 9 times 1, which is equal to 9. Plugging in 10, I have 9 times 10, which is equal to 90. And so now that I have those, I can find my sum. So I have the sum s10 is equal to, I'm going to replace all my n's now with 10. So instead of n, I have 10 times a1 plus a10 over 2. Well, a1 we found to be 9, a10 we found to be 90 over 2. 9 plus 90, I get 99 divided by 2. And when I do 99 divided by 2, I get 49.5. When I multiply that by 10, I get 495. 